Good day, everyone. This is Knox Henderson, Head of Investor Relations for StrikePoint Gold. And with me today is Mike Allen, CEO and Director of StrikePoint. How are you today, Mike? Doing well, thank you, Knox. Good. Well, a little over a month or so, we started 3,100 meters of drilling, and, and now we've finished it, and the results are finally in. And uh, so today, we'd like to obviously you know, share the results. So maybe just set the stage for everyone first, Mike. Sure. Yeah. I, I mean, the Cooperite Gold Project that we're going to be discussing the re the results uh, on today is located in the in the heart of the Walker Lane. The Walker Lane is a uh, a mineral trend that extends from uh, from Oregon down into into California, but it's centered largely in Nevada. Um, we're in the heart of the Walker Lane. We're just to the north of Anglo Gold Shanties new uh, expanded silicon project where they've, they've put out a uh, quite significant new resource. And we're just to the south of Santerra's gem field where they're working on about a 4 million ounce deposit up, up there. Great, well, thanks for setting the stage. So let's talk about those results. Cool. So today we, we announced uh, results and the headline number was this intercept here out of, out of hole one, uh, 6.1 meters, so 20 feet of 0 0.74 grams per ton gold with just under a half an ounce per ton silver, 14.75 grams per ton uh, gold. The other headline that uh, that you pulled out, Knox, is uh, is this intercept in hole five, uh, 4.57 meters of 0.29 grams per ton gold and uh, 9.13 grams per ton silver. So these are, these are reportable intercepts. Um, what I like the most about, about this is it's four out of the five holes hit and and it shows that we're hitting a lot of different different structures, a lot of mineralization in, in different host rocks, and, and it just shows the the potential. We we uh, delineated a big soil anomaly, and and it actually worked in terms of the uh, the the geophysics, the the soil anomaly. And when you go out and drill, you get widespread uh, gold mineralization. Well, that's a good start, Mike. Um, so what's next? So what we're going to do right now is uh, we're we're getting the guys down in, in Nevada to do a, a clay alteration uh, study uh, now that we've got data for the, for the third dimension and, and that'll give us some some things to to work off of off of going forward. We might do a bit more uh, uh, soil work to tighten things up a little bit and hopefully we can get a, another drill program lined up for sometime this fall. What does that clay alteration study show us? Okay, um, what that does, different clay minerals form under different conditions. And so different pressure, temperature, pH. And what we'll, the, what we'll do is we'll be using the, those clay minerals to be able to, to vector towards the hot spots and just see what's running with, with the gold and actually refine our targets for a more refined uh, drill program in uh, in late 2024. So it'll help us uh, vector in and, and get uh, tighter, more coherent targets for later in 2024. Yeah, I mean, I, it's great to have some uh, drill data to follow up on. And uh, so we'll keep everyone posted on our progress. If, if ever, anyone has any questions, uh, give me a call at 604-551-2360 or email kh at strikepointgold.com. Thanks, Mike. Have a great day. No problem, Knox. Take care.